she can have a bosom full of air plants. Hi friends, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today is a haul video. It's actually a haul video for two different places. One of the places is a place that I have discovered on my route to somewhere else. And I'm going to keep this place a little bit of a secret. I'm not going to lie because, well, it was a great place and I, w I would like to go back. So for the time being, I'm going to keep it just a little bit of a secret where the location of this place is. You know, after a while, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know where it's at. The other place is from White River Arts and Antiques here in Bedford, Indiana. It's a great antique mall and I go in there often and you should too if you are down in the Bedford area. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the haul from the mystery place. Now, this is a place that we were just driving down the road and I was like, oh, there's a store right there. Oh, and they're open, let's stop. And it, it turned out to be a great one. I got this little cup. It was a flower glass. I don't know who made it. it is, it's not marked. I need to look in my decorated tumbler book to see who made this design, but honestly, I don't really care. It's one little glass. And I love the teal and the green and the white. I just think that this will be a nice glass that you could use in your bathroom to use to, you know, brush your teeth. It's just a cool vintage glass. It's just one. And it was $1.50. All right. Oh, and everything, let me just check. Everything but three things are for sale. So if you see something that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. My email is in the description of the video as well, so you can look in the description and find that as well. But send me a message through my email. I know some of you follow me on Instagram and you send me messages through Instagram. For some reason, Instagram messages are at some times hard to pull back up again. So I always prefer that you send me an email. That way I can keep it all together because I forget things a lot. So if you send it to me to my email, I'll, it, it's all in one spot and we're good. We're good. All right, so the little glass. I also picked up this cute little vase. It was $3. I just liked that it, it, it just said spring to me, I guess. It has these hand-painted flowers. Looks like there's a rose and a daisy on it. Just a nice little American-made pottery vase. It's hand-painted. I, I, I liked it. I liked it, and, and so I got it. I also got this little duck planter. He is, now they said that he is McCoy. I'm not quite sure that he's McCoy, but he's $4, and he was $4.50. Just a cute little ducky. And then I got, this is a cute little cat planter. It's just a little cat hugging a tree. Now this is made in Japan. It was $5.50 and I'm going to see. It's not marked that it was made in Japan, but I can just tell by the way that it feels that it was a made in Japan piece. It's great. It's in great condition, but great to put a little succulent or an air plant in there, especially if you were a cat person. You know, it's a great cat planter. All right. And then I just got this little pink planter. This is, I'm not sure who made this either. It was 99 cents. It's just a sweet little, very mid-century modern looking planter. On the bar bottom, it says N N9L. Don't know who made it, but it was 99 cents. And it's hard to pass up something that, that's, that's 99 cents. And then this little girl, I think that she possibly is California pottery. She did have a sticker on the back, but it is way faded. And she was $6.50. Now, I like her because you can put an air plant in her bosom. She can have a bosom full of air plants. I really kind of liked her. I love this color, but isn't she fun? You can put her, you know, she can have air plants as bosoms. That's fun. All right, is that all of the planters? Yes. Now, I, these I'm keeping because I'm going to do a little experiment. In fact, 
hang on just a minute. Let me go see if this will work. All right, so I have seen on, I don't know if it was Instagram or if it was Pinterest or what, but these candle sconces, and I know like back in the 70s, they would, you know, people would have these, they would like have these wooden candle sconces and these would kind of, you know, fit in there. But I had seen someone that have taken brass candlesticks, which I'm liking the brass candlesticks, and they've used them in the brass candlesticks. So, I mean, like in a single candlestick, I mean, I guess you could put this one in the middle and then put two taper candles on each side, but I like that it's giving some color to the brass. So these were 99 cents each, and you can see these a lot in, you know, at, at the thrift store. So I got these two, and I'm going to take them home and try to incorporate them with some of the brass pieces that I have. And I love this color. Just It just adds a little bit of color to your brass. Makes your brass happy. Everybody wants a happy brass, right? Everyone wants happy brass. Oh, and this is something else that I'm keeping. It's a little baby. Okay, this baby is a bisque baby. And I don't quite know what's going on with this baby. I think that it's quite different and odd, and I like that about it. Well, let me just show you. I paid, now, I paid $3.99 for this baby. Yes, I did. Let me take off his string. Now, he's just odd. Now, let me know. Maybe you know what this baby is doing. But he has his hand up to his mouth, and he has a hole in his mouth, and he also has a hole in his pee-pee area, or her pee-pee area. So that's just weird. Does it, did it have a bottle, and then it peed? But why, but did they make bisque babies that took a bottle and peed? I don't know. I just think that it's fun. So I'm going to add it to my shelf of babies. So I'm keeping him. All right. I got this metal receipt holder and it was, I think, $2. And it has this really almost like a Florida de lis design. I like that it has this bit of like paint that has spilt on it. I like that about it. But just a little receipt poker. So that was a great price on that. And then I got this. I got this. This is a piece of Belique. It was $4.50. It was like the first thing that I had found. And I, now listen, I didn't film. I, I didn't film at either of these places. Just, just, I should have told you that in the beginning, but I, I didn't. But I did not film. I just wanted to shop. So this little piece of Belique, it's a Santa it's on his sled. It is marked Belique, England there. I think that's a more modern stamp, of course, but I don't know. Maybe $4.50 was a little much to pay for this, but I like that it was Santa. And I bought this before St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why I was thinking that I could decorate with Santa. I don't know. But there he is, $4.50. Now, he's available. So if you would like him, you can send me an email. Anyway, okay, what else? Oh, these birds. I love, it was like, I was like really crushing on all of the blues that day. I, I got quite a bit of blue things. These little love birds were $1.99. Look at their pretty blue collars. You are pretty bird. These, they're not marked Japan, but I do believe that they are made in Japan. They're in great condition, but there is a little nick down there on the bottom. But so cute with a little flower on there. Just a really, I think these are parakeets maybe, lovebirds. We're going to say they're lovebirds because that's, that's romantic. But I don't know. I just really liked it. I thought it was very pretty with that blue color. And I got some dogs. I got this little dog. It was $1.99. This is made, it says it is very thin, fine quality, adult Japan porcelain. And I think that this is, well, let me show you. It's $1.99. Let me show you that sticker and make sure that's right side up. There we go. They said it was a pin cushion, and I think that it is. You know, it's like pillowy here where you can put your little pins in, but I think that that is a cocker spaniel sitting on a pillow. Look at his little nubby tail. So he's cute for $1.99. And I got this. Now this is a collie. It was $2.99. And 
And let me see, do you have any markings? No, you don't. But a nice stately collie or lassie dogs is typically what I call them when I see them. Little lassie dogs. So he's a sweet little, sweet little dog. And then I got this dog. Now, if only everything was labeled like this guy, but he's a boxer. And I know that because it says boxer. If only all animals, if only cheetah, leopard, lions, tigers were labeled with that, then I would not have any problem. But I like to find these dogs that are of a specific breed. Dog collectors and cat collectors can be very, very different. A dog collector really pretty much collects a certain breed of a dog. A cat collector is just like, oh, any cat will do. There's a difference between a dog collector and a cat collector. Cat collectors are just like, yeah, anything cat's fine with me. But a dog collector is, I only like boxers, or I only like collies, or I only like chihuahuas. Or, you know, it's a very specific breed. So I like to find dogs that you can tell it's a specific breed. Does that make any sense? All right, that's all the dogs, but I did get a glass horse. Now this is a horse, I can tell. You are a horse, you have a horse tail. I, it's amber glass, it's hand blown, and it was $6.99. But I love his little feet. Look at those little feet. He's got his mouth open, and he has this really pretty amber color. He's in excellent condition, he stands really nice. Really nice piece of art glass. So I bought little Mr. Horse. And then, what else? Okay, I got salt and pepper shakers. How much did I pay for these guys? $6.50. They're little Dutch ducks. You know, normally you see the little Dutch people shakers. These are Dutch ducks. And look at their faces. See the little, she's got a little Dutch hat on. And they are in, they're sitting on their under tray. They're made in occupied Japan. And again, that's a specific time frame and it's a specific some people are just die hard occupied japan collectors so and then you know what if you wouldn't if if because sometimes you just find these little figures and they're just off by themselves and they look no longer have their under tray and then you don't know that they're occupied japan because they're just marked japan and the under tray is marked marked in occupied japan so you know sometimes you don't know not always. You don't always know. So I like that it had the under tray. If they, if it did not have the under tray, I would not have spent $6.50 for them. But I like that it was all together. All right. This little trinket box was $0.99. Cents, and it's made from the same people that made this guy. But this is a little heart trinket box with these very Capa de Monte style flowers your three-dimensional. Now, I inspected this. I mean, it was 99 cents. All right, it was 99 cents, but you can almost see through the porcelain. So, it is very thin, very fine. And I inspected the flowers that were on the lid, and they're all in excellent condition. There's no, there's no leaves missing. There's no petals chipped, which is amazing in and itself. So, I, I just, I, I was drawn to it, simply for that. And I think it's very, it's a very pretty soft spring color. And it doesn't have any, any chips or flaws on it anywhere. I did get this little blown glass bowl. It was $5.50. And it has, oh, it's just so pretty. It has these red spots that were almost like caned in, but then it has the Millie Fiore little caning work done. That one looks like, looks like a little flower. But isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so nice. It is hand blown. It has somewhat of a rough pontil mark on it, but I think that it's a nice vibrant color. The colors are just kind of like wham, wham. I'm colorful. I just love it. It almost looks like little balls of slime and they've melded it together to make this glass bowl but it's all made out of glass it's just fascinating to see there's no chips or cracks on this but i think it's a nice striking red it's a nice striking red 
And then this was $4.99. And I kind of went the nostalgic route. I probably paid too much for this. But sometimes you see things and I don't know. It was just, it just, it hit a nostalgic thread in my heart. And this is Black Milk Glass. And it's from the Stardust. Look at that font. That's what got me in. You know, these graphic designers back in the day, they knew what they were doing. Because that font just pulls me in. It just pulls me in. But this is from the Stardust Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. I don't quite know if that's still there. I don't know. I'll have to look and see. I don't know. They tear down so many different hotels and casinos in Las Vegas. I don't know. I, it probably is gone, which kind of hurts my heart a little bit. Because I think of like the icons being there performing at the Stardust, like Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. And I don't know, it's just a nostalgic, I wonder if Liberace played there. So I don't know, it just struck a nostalgic thread in my heart, if you will. All right, next I have this. Now this was a great find. Oh, I took the price tag off, but I wanna say I paid $8.99 for this, I want to say. And this is the De another Delphite Blue refrigerator dish. Now, I had sold one of these recently in a live sale, and it had quite a few chipping around the lid. This is, in oh, here, oh, oh, well, I paid $14.50 for it. I digress. I paid a lot more for it than what I thought. But I know how much I sold this one for in the past, so I know that I, that that's a safe price for me to pay for it. This one is in perfect condition. These are made by Jeanette. They are highly sought after. They're highly collectible. I thought it was great. I love it. It's just that really pretty swirly blue glass. Then the last thing that I found there was this big piece of Tanala. This is probably the biggest piece of Tanala that I myself have ever bought. And I don't know. I don't know if the bigger the Tanala, the better. I don't know. But this is, I had posted a picture on my Instagram. And I, I think that the, the majority rule that this was a platypus. Not a duck, but a platypus. Because he's got that flat bill. I don't know. He isn't artist signed anywhere, but he has this really pretty blue and yellow flowers and he's got the little nubby feet and he was $8 and 99 cents. So I did pay up a little bit for him, but he's in excellent condition. All right. Now the second part of this video is my shopping trip from White River Arts and Antiques here in Bedford, Indiana. I think on everything that I'm going to show you, I think I spent about $65 or $70. I should grab the receipt. They take the price tags off. And it's been about a week or so since I've been in there, so I don't fully remember. But I'm going to just go ahead and get started showing you the things that I bought. The first thing that I got is this cute little, this is an August Angel. Now, I still buy these if I can get them for a good price. I want to say that she was like $1.99. Her halo is broken. She's an angel with a broken halo. Can't we all relate to that? But that's the only thing that's wrong with her. All of her petals are still there. Her wings have been, are still attached. Her head's never been lopped off. She is Poppy Perdro from G-O-Z, George Zoltan Lefton. So she has all of her proper markings on the bottom. Sweet little broken angel halo from August. She's got a little birthmark right there. So she's really cute. And again, all of these things are, well, there's going to be one thing that isn't for sale. Should I just show you that now? I probably should. And that is, I found another piece of bittersweet. <sighs> this is made by Ellie Smith. It's a little bittersweet, little, like a rose bowl, little, I don't know, a little rose bowl. I don't know what this is exactly, but it matches my other, my swung vase that I bought. And I'm going to keep this at least for a little while. And I want to say I paid $11 for this. So, and I gladly paid it. 
I love, look at, doesn't it look like candy corn? Oh, I cannot wait to display these during Halloween time. It's going to be great. But I love this. Zero flaws. So I'm going to put that next to my swung vase over there. And I'm going to keep that. All right. And I did get this little swan art glass. And I love the motion from the swirls on the inside. Isn't that neat? It's a little swan. I thought this would be great. The nice yellow color for spring and summer. Very, very cute. So I picked him up. And then I, now I have one of these. So this is also, this is American Bisque. And it's just a, just a bear just sitting on his log. I think I have another one of these or I've just recently sold another one of these. I know I hauled one of these, but yeah, he's just, he's just sitting there. Just sitting on a log. That's it. He's American Bisque and he's in excellent condition. Very nice little bear just sitting on a log. And then I got this little planter. Now I do believe now, at first I thought that this was Morton Pottery, but I've had people tell me and email me after that particular haul video that this is actually made by Hager. And I have two of them. So I need to sell, I need to sell these guys. I probably will sell one Maybe in Wednesday's live sale. Maybe we'll sell this guy. And then I do have another one in Wednesday's live sale. The little Hager little bear with the hypnotizing eyes. Ooh. All right. Oh, I got this little guy. Now, he, I, you know, I love these guys. I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them because I collect them. But I think I have purchased some red hat fellas that need a white hat partner. So I'm going to see if I can, you know, find him a mate. I think he was 99 cents. So if he doesn't, then I'll just add him to the, you know, the other random salt and pepper shaker collection that I have. And I try to keep a visual in my brain of which ones that I need to, to make a partnership in. All right. I got this really cool Belgium glass canister. And I like that it doesn't have the rubber insert. Oh, it makes that good sound when you close it. Really pretty piece of cobalt blue. It's made in Taiwan. Cobalt blue, Belgium style glass. These are very popular. I tend to sell these. I probably, this probably will sell before I'm able to put it in a live sale. Someone will, I'm sure, message me about this. But again, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's in excellent condition. I don't remember how much I paid for that though. I need to, I need to like be better at, I need to be better at making these haul videos because I don't ever remember unless the price is left on. I got several pieces of chalkware. And again, I like to buy very breed specific dogs. And I think that this is a Pekingese. Of course, it would help if I actually knew the breed of the dog. Sometimes I do. And I think that this is a Pekingese, I think. And the thing that I liked about this, and it's an ashtray, or you could use it as a trinket dish. The thing that I liked about this was that it had all this writing on it. On the bottom, it says, Dad, to Daddy, from Patty, 1952. It's written in pencil. And on the back, it says, Patricia, which is long form for Patty. So, I don't know. I like that it had that, um, that personalization to it. So, nice, fun little Pekingese. And it's an, actually for... Chalkware, it's in really good condition. The colors are still really great. Now, I think that someone actually used it as an ashtray, and so it has a couple little burn marks in there. But you can see here, you'd put your matches here, and it has the little slots for your cigarettes there. And then these two cuties, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to sell them. I did pick up all the chalkware from Luke's booth, so hello, Luke. But these little guys... The little sheeps or lambs. I think they're lambs. I think you're lambs. Now, there was a black lamb, and I sadly left the black lamb behind, but it was pretty, it had a lot of broken pieces to it. Um, I love this one because of the color. So, I don't know if I'm going to keep these or if I'm going to sell them. I haven't made up my mind yet. But super cute little lamb chalkware carnival prizes but i thought for easter they'd be really cute up on a shelf so i don't know don't quite know what i'm gonna do with those yet 
All right, I did pick up some linens. I got this little um, tea towel with Scotty dogs on them. I typically just buy linens that have people or pets, animals on them. But then I bought, well, this has words on it. If it has words on it too, I like words. But I like this table, this is a table topper. And it says, or actually, are you a table topper or are you a, well, it's a, it's a small tablecloth or a table topper. But on each corner, it says something different. Lunchtime, breakfast, tea time, and, ooh, dinner time. So I like that about it. It has a really pretty pink trim. It's in excellent condition. There's no stains. There's no holes. Although it does have a repair, which I love. I love that people would repair. They put a patch in there because it had a hole in it because they just didn't throw something away to buy a new one. Oh no, you repaired things. You, you repaired your things when they were broken. So I like that about it. Now I did get two quilts. This is a quilt topper, but ah, I love the collar so much that I thought that somebody could buy it and finish it or if they just wanted to use it in their display. I will take measurements of this. I don't have the measurements of it right now, but I think that this would fit on a full size bed, but it repeats itself over and over, but it has the brown and the, the, um, Seafoam green, jadeite green. There are a couple little places that could be repaired, like right here. You can see it's just the block is coming out from the, that might be the only spot, but it's really in nice condition. And it is just the topper, so it doesn't have the backing to it. But if you know what you're doing as far as quilting goes, I mean, you could easily put a backing to it and your quilt is done. All of your squares are, are there. Really nice colors for spring. This one is a finished quilt. Oh, before I show you the quilt, I did get this little, the sweet little pink apron. I do like that. I like the colors that are on that. Forgot about you, apron. I'm so sorry. But this quilt, now it just has a kind of a, an off-white or cream backing, but it has, let me see, am I holding you up the right way? No. It has birds on it. Birds all over it. It's got love birds. It's got that bird. It's got a parrot. It has birds all over it. Oh, there's an owl. So let's, they're not like tropical birds. They're just like woodland birds. But the colors on this are great. Oh, it's this, again, jadeite green. It's in really good condition. Some of the, the, the seaming is a little thin. But, oh my gosh, I thought it was very unique and I really liked it. So I thought it was worth buying. I want to say I paid $40 for it. So I did pay up for it, but I really, really liked it. And I think I have some customers that will like it too. So I picked that up. But that was the haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I, I think all together in everything, I spent maybe $200 on everything that I showed you today. So it wasn't too bad of a haul necessarily. So um, I really in, enjoy going out and finding these treasures and I hope that you enjoy watching the things that I do pick up. Again, the things that I showed today with the exception of a few that I'm going to keep are all available. You can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, or they will be offered in a live sale very soon. I do have my live sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and I hope to see you there. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.